wish I had a tripod. This is not a tutorial either. <laughs> this is just because y'all asked me to cook more. So I be cooking. And we're going to add salt, black pepper, garlic powder, all purpose seasoning, thyme, and soy sauce for color. Some people add browning. You can add browning too if you want. Why are you guys so dirty? Don't look up my shirt. So my SD card was full, so I'm not actually sure how much of that you saw. But here's my oxtail. So basically what's in here is salt, black pepper, all-purpose seasoning, garlic powder, thyme, soya sauce, and a little bit of browning. Okay, all mixed up. I'm gonna put this in the fridge, let it marinate overnight, and then I'll cook it tomorrow. Okay, here's my oxtail that I marinated overnight. And I'm just gonna put it in this pot with some vegetable oil. Okay, never mind. We're gonna use olive oil. So turn on my stove, add some olive oil in the pot, let that heat up, and then I'm gonna cook the meat until it is brown. Okay, so this is what my oxtail looks like. It's been cooking down for, I don't know maybe 20 minutes so it's all turned brown so i'm actually going to take this out the pot so i took my oxtail out the pot it's just sitting over there for a minute and i'm going to add a clove of garlic that i minced up and then i'll let this cook for like five minutes Okay, here go my veggies. So I'm gonna add my um, oxtail back to the pot. Then we add some fresh thyme and you can mix all that together. I think my pot's a little bit too small, but it's what I got. So I added about one and a half, one and a half, two cups of water. If I can get it open with one hand. And I add a beef bouillon cube. And so I'm going to turn this down onto medium and let it cook for two and a half hours. All right, guys. So unfortunately, I had to leave my oxtail on the stove unattended because I had a last minute showing. So it didn't burn, but a lot of the gravy got absorbed. So I added a little bit more water. A little bit more water. I'm about to add some carrots. All right, so I just added my um, just added my butter beads. I'm gonna let this simmer down for like I don't know, like a 15, a 15. Maybe add a little, little bit more water, and hopefully I can salvage some of this gravy. Okay, so my oxtail is cooking down. It's it looks like I've managed to salvage it. It looks pretty good. I'm gonna give it another 15 or so minutes and I'm gonna work on my veg in the meantime. So right here I have a pot with some vegetable oil in it. I'm gonna add some garlic. Okay, so I've got my veg right here. So this is um, sliced cabbage, bell peppers, carrots, spring onions, onions and I think that's it so I'm gonna add this to my wok frying pan we're gonna add some fresh thyme salt 
black pepper. Thyme. And I'm gonna add some butter. You guys don't ask me for measurements because I don't measure. I just cook from the ancestors. So, yeah. So we're just gonna stir all that up together. This is all gonna shrink down. It looks like a lot, but it's, it's gonna be nothing. Okay, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of water so the cabbage can steam. And then cover that, let it steam down. And the last thing I'm gonna do is just put on a pot of white rice. So I like my oxtail with rice and peas. Keisha likes hers with white rice. And half is impartial, so we're just gonna go with white rice. has an oxtail video on my other channel so um, actually maybe I'll upload it tomorrow so you guys can see how my mom makes oxtail because she's been making oxtail for longer than I've been alive so you can check out her recipe and my <coughs> recipe and tell me that mine's better see you guys tomorrow thanks